you have many uh, <laughs> morons think that, you know, the United States had, had no choice but to drop nuclear weapons on the Japanese to force them to surrender because, you know, invading the mainland would have cost more lives and so on. Well, hold, hold on a second. You, you tell me you can defeat Nazi Germany without nuclear weapons, but you can't do it with the Japanese on their last legs. This is a lie. This is a complete lie. Um, anyone with, with one brain cell and a little bit of knowledge of history knows that this was meant as a show of force, right? Um, the Japanese... It's not according to me, it's according to the, the admirals in the U.S. Navy who were in the Pacific. So this is their war. They're the ones fighting it against the Japanese. It, if anyone knows what's going on, it's them. They wrote in their diaries, many of them, how the Japanese were ready to, sur to surrender. They were done, they were finished. So, and, and they even criticized the nuclear bomb. There was no need to do that. So this is lie, you know, uh, 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 number one completely eviscerated. Now, when it comes to... Uh, the show of force, you have to keep in mind that, you know, even Churchill was trying to cook up a plan to um, attack the Soviets along with the, the Americans and the Poles and so on. It didn't come to fruition, but you can see how even before the Japanese um, had, had been finished off. So we're talking about between May 1945 and August 1945. The, you know, even before the war ended in May, actually, the British and the Americans were already contemplating going to war with the Russians. Right. So. Uh, the fact that they, they nuked two cities, which are, you know, they have no military objective whatsoever, Nagasaki and Hiroshima, just to, just to show the Russians, uh, you know, to show their teeth to the Russians is sick. That's sick. And that's a fact you should always remember. The only country in history that has ever used nuclear weapons is the United States. And when they did it, they used it against civilians. So I find this funny when people are saying, like, oh, Putin is threatening nuclear weapons. Ha! <laughs> Be happy he's, he's just saying it and not actually doing it like the Americans, right? And then, of course, the napalm. They dropped so much napalm on Vietnam. They did it to the point that even the, the, the soldiers, the American soldiers were getting sick. So, they, like, that's how indiscriminate it was. Their own soldiers, you know, they were getting cancer. Their children had birth defects from the Agent Orange, as they called it as well. If their own soldiers had it, what do you think happened to the, to the Vietnamese? Hmm? And the cluster bombs. They used those in Iraq as well. Uh, if, you, if you look at Fallujah, there's an account on Twitter. Uh, and again, user discretion is advised because when you see those photos, I don't know if you'll be able to sleep, but it's a Twitter account that shows you the children being born in Fallujah in Iraq. And this is um, the city with the most uh, birth defects on earth, more than Nagasaki and Hiroshima, who were nuked. And the children there have these birth defects because the Americans used so much uh, depleted uranium uh, because it has better armor-piercing capabilities and also white phosphorus. They, they use so much of this stuff that now, right now, in 2022, children are still being born with defects from 2007, from 2003, from ammunition used back then. That is, that is so sick.